We are in Maysville, May North Carolina. We're in Habitatville. Looks like a construction box. And a little sign right here so everybody knows. Uh, kind of windy today. Got Mike, Daniel, Jim, man in the saw. Rob man in the nailer. Of course, I'm doing some quality control. Got to be six inches apart on those nails. So. Absolutely. Guys, are working. No. No. Let me get back to work. Got our main crew out here. Mr. Mike B, rocking it. Mr. Daniel. And Mr. Jim. Are you guys still Side. Yeah, we're uh, taking up pee break. Rob, say hey. <laughs> Rob, say hey. Guys, we got the first uh, row of sheath on four by eight face of the landscape. Mike Brown. So we went all the way around. It's about mid morning. There goes uh, Jim fixing all my mistakes. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do. We got water in the trailer if you guys run out. If you haven't got any. Yeah. We're gonna do it uh, standing for bay in the next row, right? Uh oh. That's that fun stuff. That, that guy's unstoppable. That Mike Brown guy. He's got suspenders on. He's unstoppable. Got the Daniel Meister. Manning the nail gun. Rob doing QA. So yeah, we're working it up out here at the site today. Not bad for a bunch of unskilled house labor. Daniel, tell me your favorite thing about man in the nail gun. I guess it feels loud. It's productive. <laughs> it's also heavy. You gotta put yeah. a lot of shoulder into it. Yeah. Alright. Where am I? Jim, how does it feel to be correcting all of Rob's mistakes? No comment. Today's bathroom brought to you by Port El John. Otherwise known as Blue Sight Solution. Got to give a big shout out to Mike Brown for providing us transportation and housing okay. for a few days. Pleasure. He's famous now. He's on video. Man's unstoppable. You're gonna have to sign a release waiver so I can publish this. I'm I'm pretty sure that working without the protective eye is uh, pr protective glasses is uh, an OSHA uh, regulation. Uh, Do this one while we're up the floor. Okay. Below this. Right here? Farther, yeah, a little farther down. There you go. Yep. And go across or straight yeah. down? Yeah, raise our, uh, raise our uh, foreman, the supervisor, and he said this, uh, this nail gun's been rebuilt several times. Been on the job site longer than he has, and he's been he's been doing this for ten years. So okay, it's uh, it's finicky to say the least, but uh, it'll get the trick done. Okay. Takes a little bit to get used to, that's for sure. These guys are about to put the uh, first vertical wall. Lunch time. Goodness, the pizza gods have arrived. What we got going on here? We got some uh, lovely 
<laughs> blisters blister and what do we have here is this a, a real band-aid or is this what is this oh look at there <laughs> and thumbs would make great nails i got a little bruise there <laughs> all right mike all got, good got any battle wounds no actually uh <laughs> my fingers are intact awesome. today's young today okay. is young <laughs> all right i've only hit my thumb once and it was really soft so not too bad like I said, if I come back with all my fingers, that's a victory. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. After lunch, we got the Kraken. We got the rest of the first floor nailed up on the side. And we are trying to complete Back. But I think we're gonna call it a day in just a little bit. So, yeah, everybody's hard at work. These guys are hard workers. And we have the uh, this guys here is our licensed contractor. Yeah. Kind of blue shirt, so it has to be a licensed contractor on site. thing and the sun's come out and this is uh this is rob's new favorite tool right here um i don't know what causes more pain or pleasure but that thing will work you over especially if you're hanging off the side of a ladder 10 feet up in the air with your arm hanging out it will give you a good workout and, and the fact that it's not consistent whatsoever makes it even worse <laughs> rob what do you think about your new tool i hate it <laughs> all right he gets two in and then dies. all right let's do a battle wound update on for daniel daniel round two yes round two band-aids round two band-aids look much better they're holding up well after i hit it again we got a lot of we got a lot of sore thumbs out here today folks Dog or a monkey? Tell me. Dog? Are you a dog? Or are you a monkey? Which one? Tell me. Dog or a monkey? All right, folks, we're back for for day two, working on the house. We got a little bit more volunteers out here today. I'm waiting on the rest of our crew to get here so we can kick it off. So yeah, so we've got some, uh, <clears throat> looks like they've been working on the window cutouts and door cutouts. And uh, so yeah, it's about 45 degrees. The sun is out. So it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. So I'll give you updated if you Rod's manning the nail gun again today. Look at that. He's a machine. So what we're doing now is we're doing the hurricane nailing on the bottom plate. So we've got to go every three inches staggered. So bottom row and top row, three inches apart, staggered like a W pattern. All the way around the bottom. 
So that's what we're doing now. And we got a big, got a big crew out here today. You can see in there, people framing up walls. Way that way. So got Mike Brown. You want about halfway out of step, right? Yeah. Got Mike, Jim, oh, and Daniel well. still putting up sheathing. We even had the Coast Guard out here working with us too. You guys part of the Coast Guard as well? Yes, sir. Awesome. Raise our uh, suit foreman over there, man the nail gun, trying to fix that. So we got a big crew. Right. So yeah. It's all in the back. Rob says it's all in the back. <laughs> All right, guys. A mid-morning update. Getting some doors and windows cut out. We've got sheathing around the house, and we need some space to run our air hoses. We've got so much up there. Cutting out the uh, windows. Except for this section over here, so these guys are hard at work. So, got a big crew out here today. A lot of volunteers. Look at all the cars. Hard to uh, not walk somewhere. And uh, by the way, the guy that works the most also sleeps. All right, guys, we're shutting down day two. Get all the sheathing up. I haven't quite cut all the top yet. But. Definitely coming together. This is my final day on the, on this volunteer. So, there'll be a whole bunch of other people coming in and taking up the slack, but. Definitely got all the sheathing up. All the way around. All the way around. Just need to get it cut on the top. And yeah, that's going to be it for me for this volunteer.